Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahd in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful glass morphism service card hover effect using Elementor Flexbox. So initially it's looking like it and when you hover over on it the icon goes to the left with a beautiful animation and now we can see the main content. I will show you step by step how to do this beautiful animation. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. By the way, in this tutorial, we will be using Elementor's Flexbox container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, from the Elementor settings, go under Experiments tab. From here, make sure the Flexbox container is set to active. All right, now let's go inside Elementor. To take a new container, click on this red plus icon and I'm taking this two container structure. From here, first of all, I'm taking the minimum height in VH and I'm making the minimum height to 100 VH. Now open the items, from here I'm making the align items to centered, the justify content to centered, so all the inner contents or inner containers would be vertically and horizontally centered. And now here another important thing, you need to set the wrap to wrap. Alright now let's go under style tab, from here I wanna give a background color, so from the background type let's select the gradient one. The first color from here I'm giving it hash B8FF. To 8. Then the second color hash 2EA8FF. Alright, let's now go under advanced tab. From here I'm unlinking the padding. Let's select it in percentage. Now on the top and bottom I'm giving here 5% of padding. Alright, now from inside here we can see two containers. I'm deleting one of the containers from here. So now we only have one container within the main parent container. Now let's select this container. Now first of all I'm making its width to 42%. Now go under the style tab. From here I'm making its background color to pure white color like this. Then from here scroll down, open the border. I'm adding here 20 pixel of border radius. Now let's open the box shadow. Let's add the blur value to 40 and the spread value I'm adding here negative 10. Alright, let's now go under its advanced tab. From here, first of all, let's unlink the margin. Here on the right and bottom, I'm adding 50 pixel of margin. Let's now unlink the padding. Here at the top and bottom, I'm adding 50 pixel of padding. Then on the right, I'm adding 20. And on the left, let's add 95 pixel of padding. Now here within this container, click on this plus icon. First of all, let's add a heading widget here and I want it to say design. Now let's go under its style tab. From here, I wanna make the text color to a reddish color like this. Then from typography, let's make the font size to 24 pixel and font weight to 700. All right, now go under advanced tab from here and link the margin only at the bottom. I'm adding some negative margin. That's minus five. Now underneath this heading, go to Rubik's Cube icon here. I'm dragging a text editor widget here from under this style tab. I'm making the text color to pure black color. And also from the typography, I'm just increasing the font weight a bit like this. Now let's go under advanced tab again and link the margin. Here at the bottom, I'm just adding negative 20 pixel of margin. And then let's click on the Rubik's Cube icon. Underneath this paragraph, I just wanna add a button widget. So drag the button widget underneath here. I just want it to say read more. Now go under the style tab. On the normal state, I wanna set the background color, kinda bluish color. And then on the hover, let's set the background color, kinda reddish color. So now it's looking like it. All right, now underneath this button, I wanna add a container. So click on the Rubik's Cube icon. From here, let's drag this container underneath this button here. Now with this container, just open the items. I just wanna make the justify content to centered. Then go under the style tab from here. Let's open the background type to a solid color. Actually, I wanna make it a transparent white color. So first I'm making it to a white color. Then let's drag the bottom bar to make it very transparent like this. And then from here, let's open the border. I wanna give it a solid border with one pixel of width. 
and let's set the color again the white color with a very little transparency like this then here i'm adding 20 pixel of border radius now open the box shadow from here i'm just adding 20 blur value and negative 10 spread value all right now within this container click on the plus icon here i just wanna drag an icon now you know you can select the icons from here so here i just want to insert a free code camp icon this one let's select it all right so we are almost done with the layout now to add the glass effect and the hover transition effect we need to do a few things like here with this container let's select it go under its advanced tab and from here i'm making its position to absolute now from here i'm making the horizontal orientation to 20 pixel and the vertical orientation to 20 pixel also with this container i wanna add a class name so from here css classes let's add the class name that would be icon dash section remember you need to write exactly this class name icon dash section otherwise the whole effect won't work then right after that let's select its immediate parent container this one let's select it from under its advanced tab let's add another class name with it so that would be content dash area again make sure you have written the exact class name content dash area all right now you need to select their main parent container this one i'm selecting it from under its advanced tab let's scroll down and open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this now within this custom css field i will be pasting some custom css snippet now to get the css snippet you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page under important links here we can see it says glass morphism hover effect css from here let's just select this whole css snippet now from here let's copy it go inside elementor then within this field let's paste the css snippet and boom here we go so initially it's looking like it and when you hover over it we can see the beautiful animation here by the way at the initial state i just want to make the logo a bit bigger so let's select the icon not logo now from under its style tab i just want to make its size to 100 so it's now looking much bigger and the animation is looking more smoother all right now before duplicating it i just want to make sure it's looking perfect on mobile device and tablet devices so to check its responsiveness from here let's click on this responsive mode icon now let's go to tablet device on the tablet device right now it looks okay but i just want to increase its width a bit so make sure you have selected this container from under the layout i just wanna set its width in percentage and let's make it to 60 percent only on the tablet device so it's now looking great on tablet device now i'm going to the mobile device so here on the mobile device let's start with this container first let's go to its advanced tab from here i'm unlinking the margin and only on the mobile device i'm adding some bottom margin so let's add 150 pixel of margin bottom then here let's add 25 pixel of padding with it but at the top i think we need to add more so unlink it only at the top i'm adding 140 pixel all right let's now select this inner container this one so here at the top i just want to add some negative margin so unlink it at the top i'm adding negative 100 pixel of margin then let's unlink the padding at the top and bottom i'm adding 50 pixel and at the left and right i'm adding 25 pixel of padding all right now on the mobile device with this main container let's select it I want to increase its padding top a lot so first of all let's unlink it and i'm making it in pixel at the top i'm adding 180 pixel so it's now looking great on mobile device also on the tablet device 
and for sure on the desktop device. Now let me show you if you wanna duplicate it couple more time how to do that. So you know you need to select this container not this one. So make sure you have selected this container and duplicate it. Let's now duplicate it couple more times. So duplicate it and I'm duplicating it one last time. Okay, so here it seems like it so went outside of the box, but actually it's not. If we just minimize the bar from left, you see it's looking pretty perfect. But with these two curves, those are on the right side, we need to fix a bit. It's pretty easy, just open this bar from left. So the curves that are on the right side, just select this container, go under its advanced tab. So here with this right curves, instead of this right margin, I'm making it to zero. But on the left, I'm adding the 50 pixel of margin. Let's do the same with this right card. So select the container, go under its advanced tab, make the right margin to zero but add left margin to 50 pixel. So if I now minimize the left bar, have a look on the desktop, all the cursor looking perfect. If we go to the tablet device, so here on the tablet device, it's looking a bit odd. So we can easily fix it. Just open the left bar. You see on the tablet device, they are not horizontally centered. So let's select this container. First, I'm making the margin to zero. And here I only want to add some margin value on the bottom. So here I'm adding maybe 50 pixel of margin. Yep, it looks perfect. So let's do the same with other curves. Select it, unlink the margin and only at the bottom I'm adding 50. So let's do the same with this one as well. From advanced tab, unlink the margin only at the bottom I'm adding 50. Then here with the last one, select it. I'm just unlinking the margin as it's the last one within this container. So we don't need to add the margin bottom here. So right now they're looking great on tablet device. And if we now go to the mobile device, on the mobile device, everything's looking perfect. So let's now click on this X to close the responsive bar. And from here, you know, you can easily change all these icons, all this text. I'm just giving you one example. So here instead of design, if you want to write here any other thing. So here I'm writing code. Also, let's say if you want to change this icon. So from here, I'm just replacing this icon with another icon. Let's select this one, insert it. So in the same way, you can change other icons, other text, all the button links, you know, you can do all the things. And when you are happy with it, don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.